Hi, I'm David Ware with the Arkansas State Archives, and I'm here to invite you to share with me something that feels a little like Christmas morning. Here at the State Archives, a lot of what we collect is systematically deposited by state agencies and so forth, but some of the coolest things in our collection come from out of the blue, come from people who send things to us that they think belong in the archives of the state of Arkansas. And I have an example of such a thing today. It arrived at our, at our agency's main office this week. They sent it over here. I don't know what's in this envelope. And so it's like you're with me on Christmas morning, seeing what we might have in this fancy gift wrap package. So follow along with me, please. Okay, someone's obviously opened it before they sent it over to me. And what we have is, Okay, we have some flaking paper and it's a set of photographs um, sent by someone in Baton Rouge, Louisiana um, of, her, of her father's family who lived in Arkansas in the early um, 1900s and the late 1800s. Um, my grandmother was Mary Collins Haygood her children were William, Curtis, Passy, and Gladys. My father was born in Tyro, Arkansas in 1892. I'm donating these photos to your collection or any more appropriate organization. So let's see what we have. First off, she did the right thing by putting them in a Ziploc bag to keep them dry in case the envelope got wet. What we have here are... Okay. Okay, what we have is an assortment of photographs. We have a little carte de visite side. The Haygood family, Mr. George Haygood and family of Tyro, Arkansas. Beautifully written on the back side. That's a small family, just shows Mr. and Mrs. Haygood and their two children. Not in bad condition, you can still see them very well. Okay have something mysterious here. Looks like a restaurant or a hotel dining room. Looks like they've set up for a, for a banquet. All we have on the back is that Mary Gibbons and Emma Stoner. See on the back there? So I assume that's the two ladies mentioned. The serving folks in the back are not mentioned, but it looks quite an elegant place, maybe a hotel. We have up oh, Mary Rourke is the lady there. Um, otherwise, there's something the, okay, the picnic crowd, Warren, Arkansas, along the banks of the Saline River. I would say probably 1900 or so, judging by the callers. We have Uncle Willie Collins, taken by Johnson's studio of Fordyce, Arkansas. Uh, Johnson Studio, we have several other examples of their work in our collection. Uh, now we have Uncle Willie, too. Pretty cool. We have other family photographs here. One obviously taken, looks like in camp during World War I. Got those fine arrowhead um, felt hats. Two dapper doughboys ready for service here. Um, Uncle Bill Haygood is on the left. There's, so there's Uncle Bill. We have a portrait taken from the FWX studio, Pine Bluff and Monticello. Two young ladies, Aunt Patsy and Aunt Gladys Haygood. And then, okay, what do we have here? We have a series of gelatin prints. Looks like they might've been done in someone's home dark room. Okay. Obviously, it's a family with some automobiles. So we have them posing in front of a big, what looks like a big stone building with a big porch, maybe a family reunion or a family vacation. Lots of children, lots of shiny cars from the, I would say the early 1920s. Um, over on the, over on the far right over here, you have an African-American, probably a chauffeur for one, of the, for one of the families. Okay, we have some folks hanging around a rustic, a rustic building on a mountainside. 
And then we have, looks like the whole family posing in the shade. And, aha, take a look right in the middle of the picture. You can see Mountain View Hotel. Okay, this is a place I know well, actually. Up in the northwest corner of the state, the little town of Sulphur Springs, there are uh, stands on a hill overlooking the town. The remains of the Kielberg Hotel, built in 1908, opened in 1909. It was built in, in anticipation of Sulphur Springs being a great resort, a place that would attract people to drink the stinky water on one side of the creek and enjoy the lithium water that came from the other side of the creek. The Kilberg Hotel, first class, 100 room, native limestone hotel. Uh, trains took people down to Sulphur Springs from St. Uh, St. Joe, Missouri on the weekend. Problem was that the Kielberg was a little too ambitious for its surroundings. It was a little too grand for the town. They had a hard time making ends meet. It was renamed the Mountain View Hotel um, in 1924. It was bought by the evangelist John Brown. It became part of his John, the John Brown University, then became the Brown School for Girls, later part of the Brown Military Academy. The building, much reduced by fire over the years, still, still stands overlooking Sulphur Spring. Um, it's owned by it's owned by the the Hendron Chemical Company these days, and there are some talk. There's plans about doing something with the property. But at any rate, what we have here, a family. I assume probably prior to the purchase by John Brown, because it's still at least labeled as a hotel, and they're staying up there. So that would place these pictures, 1923, maybe 1924. We don't have many pictures of the Kielberg Hotel, certainly not of guests in front of it. So these may simply seem to be family pictures, but they're a vital part of the story of Northwest Arkansas. This is Christmas that has come early this year for us. Um, things like this, seemingly just family photographs, help fill in the documentation of everyday life in Arkansas. Evidence of photographers at work, evidence of families at work and play, these all have a place in Arkansas State Archives. We have 200 years and more of history here for you to explore.